Okay. Cool, Simon. Shall we start with you? Yeah. Sure. This time last year, yeah, you were really looking really impressive, really good in pre-season. It looked as though it was going to be a, a huge start at a new club, and then it all went wrong. How how did you feel about that, and how do you recover from that? Yeah, it was a, it was a big blow at the end. Uh, what you said, the, the start was huge. Um, but I look at it in a positive way. I try to look at it in a positive way. I came out well. I feel I feel good anyway. Uh, it's a year later. Time goes quick. Uh, but I enjoy my time here, and I'm excited to start again. You say you look at it in a positive way. I mean, yeah. football players, professional athletes, don't like to get injured. But no. Getting injured when you just moved, I would have thought that was that was a pretty big blow. Uh, it obviously is, uh, especially at the start. Um, but I have to say, at the same time, I just moved to another club. I moved to Arsenal. Um, then you have to look at how lucky you are as well, um, and that's the way I look at it uh, last year. I had uh, time to work with some fantastic physios, um, I had good people around me, teammates were great, so it was, eventually it was a good time for me. Um, it's never fun to be injured, but um, I tried to make the best out of it. It must have been quite hard to keep motivated when you're, you're watching the players go out and train and you're in uh, a gym not, on the It's bike. not that hard if you see them and you see them performing like they did last year. Just, it gets you motivated to join them and to, to help them and uh, I hope that this season is going to be like that. And what, what did you think overall of the season? Yet again, Arsenal finished second, almost perfect season and there's one team that's just too good. Yeah, well you said almost perfect, uh, so in this season we need to make it perfect. Hopefully uh, we're going to end up with some, with some prizes at the end of the season. Let's see, we start from here in America, some nice games uh, ahead and then from there we go. Julian, um, Mikel was just talking to us. He says you're a natural leader and, and a winner. Yeah. How supportive and helpful has he been in your in your last season, your uh, first season? Very from the start. To be honest, um, last year when we were here, he was uh, he was very supportive already. And uh, I have to say, during my injury as well, and uh, yeah, it helped to have such a manager like him. I saw on your uh, Twitter this morning you had those sort of pin posts with Kobe Bryant and. Max Verstappen, very sort of is inspirational it? winners sort of people. Is it, are they the sort of people you look to for inspiration as a, as a footballer? Yeah, I like I like to look at winners. Uh, in NBA you see them a lot, but uh, for example Max Verstappen as well, sometimes uh, you see his interviews after games and you're like, wow, this guy is such a big winner and I just love to see that and I uh, love to see his comments about uh, things that happen after, after a race, you know. Do you think that's something you can add to the Arsenal team this season when the games are close and there's going to that sort of winning mentality to help them actually get the title? Yeah, the yeah, definitely. I think we have it a lot already. Uh, we have a lot of winners and leadership in the group already, but it's always good uh, to add, I think. Julian, how 